All right, you guys, I just wanted to film a quick video and show you how I turned my Pelican case into a toolbox. I have a lot of tools. I had a lot of tools laying around my garage at the time and a Pelican that I wasn't using. And all of a sudden one night it dawned on me, hey, why not just turn that into a place where I can organize all my tools? So let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how I turn this into my handy dandy little toolbox. So I did this back in January. But uh, now that I'm living life on the road, I needed to fit some more tools in there. I kind of wanted like everything. So this is what I did. I made a spot for my saw. Eventually I'd like to get like, a cordless, but this is what I got now. Drill, um, and all my just random tools. It came with three inserts, and I only used one of them. And then here I just put Velcro. So I think it's about 10, it holds about 10 pounds. It's really heavy duty. So things can be very organized. So this spot, this is where like the heavy stuff is. And so what I did here was put a PVC pipe that I got from my old neighbor. I just had some extra laying around. If you don't have any, just go to Home Depot and have them cut it for you. And uh, it just holds things in place so that when they kind of jostle around, it doesn't break these things. So this stuff's light, you know? And everything just pulls right out. And that's a little crammed back a little bit. And then there's just a slot for it. So you can put it right back in. sockets in here because my brother got this for me so that's so cool instead of having a little toolbox full of sockets then this can just go right back in the slot here so then up here I also put some velcro strips now behind the velcro yesterday I put these zip ties and I had these left over from some helmets I used to sell so I have these buckled around these zip ties that are behind the velcro and then if I need something you can just do that I don't know how long these baggies will last, but you know. Um, oh, around the edges, I just put all my blades for saws. Um, here. And my little peltors here. And then the zip ties, I just put a zip tie around the zip ties. And then a little bit of Velcro. And then these little guys come right off. Um, these can open up, so I will secure these even more later. But just like. Velcro on the back of this. I don't know why there's a piece of tape on that, but there is. And Sharpie baggies when you're taking, you know, bolts out, bag, label. So that's it. That is my Pelican. I'm put, strapping this. I'm putting this on a carrier, a tailgate carrier for the back of the Bronco. It's rugged as hell. I like that box a lot. I really enjoy it. Oh, so if you are going to do this, I do suggest if this is just going to stay in your garage, put a, a sheet of wood that have some wheels attached to it so you can roll it around because this thing does get kind of heavy but there are wheels on it so and handles on both sides so you can take this out lift it up just a little and roll it Video's done, let's go. Oh yeah, you got it. Good job, my little fly catcher, yeah! <laughs> Say hasta la vista everybody, see you in the next video. See you guys in the next one. Say good night, my little fly catcher. A whole video about bougie. Oh, really? oh my gosh, did you get another one? <gasps> my flag catcher, yeah! Yeah!